Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track The Way You Wear by John Foe. So this is the original track. And this is my recreation. Now I know it's not exactly the same, but this was such a great experiment for me and I learned so many things about how to create sounds like this that I really wanted to make this video to show you everything that went into that experiment and hopefully I will open your eyes to designing this type of very futuristic textures inside of Serum. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, cool. So let's get started with the process. So when I was trying to remake this sound, I was just using my regular workflow, which is to track the harmonics. And what I did was just putting an EQ on the sound and then seeing exactly what are all the harmonics at each point of the sound. <laughs> All of those and I tracked them to my best ability and came up with this little MIDI right here and if I play that on top of the sound but then I was like how am I going to play that in a serum patch right so this is the serum patch oops it's just playing one note and What's happening here is everything is being created thanks to this Basic Shapes custom wavetable that I did. Now I know you have the um, the Harmonic Series wavetable here, but I'm going to explain why I made this wavetable the way I did it. So I will open a new Serum and create a patch from scratch. So here I have an initialized Serum and I'm going to be showing you how to make this patch from scratch. So I have a sine wave, which is going to be the sub. We're holding a D. And then on the oscillator B, we're going to load basic shapes. We're going to get a sine wave, and then we're just going to remove all of this uh, single cycle waveforms. We're going to reset the phase of each of the sine waves so we're, uh, we don't have any weird issues. And then we're just going to set up a little distortion here. I'm going to put it on asymmetrical. Add some hyper. And then some reverb just for the sake of showing uh, how the sound uh, would sound in a mix, not because the sound needs it, uh, but okay. Now let's talk about the harmonics. So each of those uh, notes, let me show you, represents a harmonic that is going to go into the sound. So this F sharp, this E, this F sharp, A, D, A, G sharp, and then G3. Each of these represents a harmonic that I have to uh, put inside of Serum. So if we're playing D, this D, then that F sharp, it's a minor third from it. This E, it's 11 semitones from the fundamental. And then we have a major second. And then we have I, what I believe is a fifth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, a fifth. Then we go back to root. And then we go down five semitones to the seven again. Uh, and then we go up to the tritone, which is weird and cool and then the octave of the tritone now let's jump into serum and now i'm going to show you the process for making that wave table so if we just hold a d if we play d here and let me just a change setup here turn on this tuner right here we can see the d right here and now what is left is just to add all the different harmonics here. So for example, here's the F sharp and then hit plus, add the A and then you can hear the melody, the, add the E and so on and so on, right? And so from here, it was just um, trial and error, seeing what's the harmonic that is correct. So for example, here's another A. That's C sharp. We don't really use a D. 
and we have to find a G sharp, which is actually not here. So now we end up with this wavetable. Right? And now check this out. Watch what happens if we add this up. Let's bring this uh, sub down. And then let's just add a an LFO into level here. And now let's just scroll through this. And bam, you, you get the sound, which is insane. It's so cool because I've talked about this mindset of independent harmonics in the NetSky video. And I believe it was uh, I Refuse, NetSky I Refuse video of how uh, NetSky does uh, a separate lead that has independent harmonics than the root note. And this is the result of the experiment. When I was trying to remake the sound, I came to this uh, workflow of inserting a melody in bass. And I think this is such an interesting realization um, to see that the melody is inside the bass already. Like you can hold any note, but the melody is inside the bass. Uh, and the melody is the way the harmonics move in that bass. Even though if you have a drop that is only playing F or E or D sharp, whatever, all the things moving, all the filtering, all the distortions, all those things have the melody. Uh, quite a complex melody, if you think about it. But they have the melody, they hold the melody, and that's why you can have 100 tracks playing only F in the fundamental, and they can all be different from each other if we're talking bass music. So yeah, um, this was the workflow of creating that wavetable. And the rest was just me trying to automate exactly at which point that waveform has to be played. And so I did that here by automating, okay, like in this point, this is that note, at this point is that note, at this point is that note, so on and so on and so on. And then I entered these two notes. And so for those two notes, we have to change um, root notes. For example, go to C sharp, so, this, so the fifth is G sharp. And then, oops, let me just go here. And then change um, the harmonic that is happening right there which I'm not going to do because that's fine tuning. That's something that you have to just do on your own. And that's something that's going to depend on the track. And it's not worth your time uh, for you to just see me uh, fine tuning that. So yeah, that was the process. That was the findings that I got with this little experiment. And even though I didn't get this, the exact same sound, I discovered a super cool workflow and a very, very interesting thing about bass uh, that I really wanted to share with everyone. And I hope that this is useful. I hope that this opens your eyes in terms of like how bass works a little bit more. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments and leave a like, get subscribed and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.